Hi and welcome to this Sport in the Box tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at the speed keys of Sport in the Box and how to work with them. So I have used my old database for swimming in this case and we're going to have a look at a little bit of how to add new speed keys, what we can control with them and how to uh, control also the speed key panel. So let's move over to Sport in the Box to see the interface. So uh, first of all, as you might remember from the first tutorial, we can see here on the left our freely configured speed keys and on the right we have different speed keys that are part of the sport interface. Uh, these speed keys here to the right, they are fixed, but we can with them also control multiple things. I will show you that a little bit later. Um, let's first start one and create a speed key here. So we have a button one by pushing add button here. Uh, currently when I'm pressing this nothing will happen because I haven't said it will do something. To actually configure it I right click, I can press edit here and I get up the configuration bar we can change the name. Uh, warm up we can name it. We can say uh, image let's just something like that and then say that it's on the scoreboard in layer one start item and it can show the warm-up countdown by pressing here now it will start a warm-up countdown right now the warm-up has ended in my timer so maybe not the best example um, However, let's say that we want to bind this to the speed key on the keyboard. I want to trigger this by pushing a button on the keyboard instead of pushing a physical or a button here with the mouse. So then we have the keyboard shortcut here and this can either be like a D or I recommend a combination so we don't by accident trigger it when we are somewhere else. So we can have control space for an example. Now I can trigger this if we first must have to stop it then we can trigger it by pushing control space um, however and we can do this also of course for all the other um, fixed buttons as well um, what we normally recommend is to use our speed key panel uh, and if you have installed the drivers for it uh, the first thing you have to do is also install the plugin um, otherwise you're a bit limited you find the plugin on our support page uh, so you have to be logged in to get access to the downloads but then let's write log in uh, you can see here stream the plugin for sport in the box and we can download it here you can see that it's downloaded after this you can just run it and it will ask you to install this into Stream Deck. Uh, then you can find the Stream Deck in your right item tray. Um, so let's go there. And you can see here you have multiple things that you can control with this. But here you also now, after installing the plugin, you can see Sport in the Box here. We can drag out the action. And we can name this. and then you can select what it should do so it could either be that it tr triggers my speed key that I created or here you can see also the fixed one so let's just try this first uh, we move to sport in the box we stop here everything and then you can by pushing the button will automatically trigger this as well um, you can also mark this and copy this to another key rename it uh, let's say we want one of the fixed ones like a start list data handling uh, we can see here we have start list timekeeping but we want a data handling start list in this case so now by pushing the button start list data handling we will get our start list, right? 
Another way to actually create the speed buttons here to the left is if I have, say that I have a specific content that I want to play at a specific time. Uh, let's just go here and add some content. I can drag and drop that into my playlist like this. Um, so now I have uh, my, my files, files here. here. Yeah, all right. Um, if, if I, I want to have a speed key for this specific item, I can just take that and drag and drop it out to the right. And then I have my speed key starting, starting this here. It's, it's a, a very, very easy, easy way of creating a speed key directly. Uh, let's say that instead of only starting something now on my scoreboard, I maybe want here to create something also on my stream. So I right click and I can see my stream here. And let's say that it should not only start that one, but it should maybe start the playlist on the stream. Playlist, oh, let's play ads playlist and play that from the beginning. So when I push this button, we can see that it starts here. And if we check our stream output, place the same clip which was a error but we can see the output is now running with our um, we'll have a look at the stream output it runs my playlist ads right by pushing one button I can trigger multiple things so let's Um, if I have multiple sport in the box computers, I can of course also not only trigger one sport in the box, but trigger multiple sport in the box. So if I have added them into the same network, we can push edit here and under network computer, I will find my other computers here. I have a banner computer in this case. So in this setup, I would have one computer running the stream and scoreboard, one running a banner, and then I can either select the specific speed key of the speed key what I have or I can go and control on a specific layer like start a item or start a playlist on in the main layer on this one so now triggering this button it will start a playlist on my stream it will start a specific clip on my scoreboard and on my banner it will start the playlist of commercial uh, all by the click of one button so during the operation it's very easy to manage yeah, that's uh, all for today. Thank you for watching.